everybody. Thank you once again for joining me for this here Popper Weekend event video. My name is Justice. My handle is Arcantuna. Please remember to subscribe for more event videos like this one. Deck techs and free-to-play tips and tricks, how to save gold, how to build up your gem collections, all those good things. In this uh, video here, for this event, we're going to take a look at a, a fairly ridiculous deck idea. Uh, this is one of few times where decks like this will actually work. Uh, this is... This is 40 petitioners. <laughs> it's just 40 persistent petitioners and 20 islands. And that's that's what we're doing. So the beauty of persistent petitioners is you can tap four untapped advisors and target player puts the top 12 cards of their library into the graveyard. Uh, and then a deck can have any number of cards named persistent petitioners. So for two, it's a one three. So it's a decent blocker for the aggro we might encounter. And um, we're just going to stick 40 of them in there and see how it goes. There isn't as much of a threat for mass removal in the popper deck events because it's only commons. So they can be removed through through other commons, but it's not as often as it would be in, in regular standard play. So it's uh, one of the rare times we get a chance to play with decks like this. Rats is also a decent idea sometimes. Um, and I, I saw this deck while I was playing... Where's the popper event? Yesterday... I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that because what the heck, it's only 250 gold and I've been playing in Popper all weekend anyway, so it's a lot of fun to do this and this is one of those times where we can just throw it together. It's so cheap, gold-wise, you may as well. It's so cheap, wild card wise you may as well. And with any luck, we'll see the deck go off at least a couple times. I think it's good for <clears throat> maybe two to three wins, maybe, and then... Uh, and then it tends to fizzle out because it's susceptible to flying and big creatures if they can get them out. But, but this is <laughs> this is the ridiculousness that is the hand we're looking for. Um, four petitioners, two lands, and we go first. So that benefits us greatly. I wonder what we're gonna see. Is he doing something similar? So if he's doing something similar, then we're gonna win just because we've got we uh, because we went first. Unless he gets a better land base. So if he do, oh boy, <laughs> this is so absurd. Nope. No reason to attack. We just block each other down, and nothing happens. So he might have other cards in there, and he might be able to get the fourth one down one turn before we. Yeah, he will. He depending on whether or not he's got the land for it, he might win this game just because he's got his petitioners out sooner. We can do that. <laughs> Big surprise. Well, there's his fourth... Yeah, his fourth island. So he's got his four petitioners down. So that, that could be the game. How funny. You may as well. You may as well just hit it. Although, I want to make sure he doesn't attack. So it doesn't matter if I do this on my turn or his turn. He's not attacking with petitioners. Who are we kidding? You could do this at the end of your opponent's end phase, or... It takes four rounds, roughly. So we, I'm at 48, he's at 48. There go 12, so this will be 36. That fourth land, that fourth island won in the game. How funny. I wonder how many rat decks we'll see too. This is this is just absurdities. Oh hey, he's got a water knot in there. How about that? So on this one, I can tap one mana and then make him discard maybe something decent here. Nope, it's just a petitioner. All right, so we are locked in to the most silly deck types ever. Yeah, if I had four lands, boy, we might have been able to do some good. So 
23, 33. So he's got seven. If he drops another petitioner, that's the game. There he goes. He's won. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've done the math here. He's got to do this. He's got to do both of them now, though, and then properly tap his petitioners down. This is just the most silly way to play the game right here. How funny. I wonder if this is what the event's going to de degenerate into, is just petitioners versus petitioners. And it's going to depend solely on whoever gets the fourth petitioner out soon enough, and then, <laughs> and then just rolls the... the mill. <laughs> Stupid. And it doesn't matter. It's, it's not going to hurt my feelings if I lose four games in a row here. It really isn't. These are just... This one especially is one of the fun events where uh, it costs 200 gold. It's not a big deal. When they start costing 500 or 5,000 gold, now we're talking. Those are a little more serious events. But these are just genuinely just fun times to screw around. I also might try rats one day too just to see if rats uh, works because they get... Four rats, all of a sudden, they're like six sixes. Or six ones, rather. Okay, same hand. Here we go again. I'm going to keep it, because I like having two islands right away. Hopefully, we can get the fourth island and then get the the uh, third and the fourth petitioner down on turn, turn four. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. But I'm seeing white, so we might be in business here. This might be a, more of a regular style of a deck. Of course, if he's all flying, then we're in trouble, because this deck is very susceptible to flying as well. But we shall see. Ooh, good old Swift Claw. That's an interesting choice, because I'm definitely going to have to block. I can't go on taking three the whole time. But I can block and then have him mill one. I wonder if he already sees the writing on the wall here. Even if he... If he does, like, Luminous Bonds or something, it doesn't matter because I don't need my petitioners to attack. They've just got to tap down for some... for some mill. And before it's my turn, we are going to tap one, tap the petitioner, and make him remove a Healing Grace. Okay. That's what we're looking for. I thought about putting some card draw in here, so now I've reached the point where I am not going to block. Actually, I lied, I am. I would block both of these with two petitioners and then tap the petitioners to mill him and then play two more. So I've got the I've got the backup in my hand. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. That's a 5-3. Now they're both 5-3s. Well, I'm not taking 10, that's for sure. He should have attacked. I don't want to play that island yet. Normally I like to keep one card just to make him think that I've got something else going on. Even though I don't. Even though if I played the island I could mill him for one. Um, but it doesn't much matter. I just need the bodies in the way to block one of these swift claws down. I think I can do it just one. So if I block one, I'll take five. <coughs> mill him down to 20... Yeah, I'm okay with that. He for sure attacks. I'll block one. And then tap it. Because it dies a horrible death. Okay, I think we're in business. Oh boy. Luminous Bonds is just fine. 
I don't need him. He'll get one more turn after this, so I better make sure that I have three blockers ready. And I'm at 10 health. Mm -hmm. So he taps one down. Which is fine. Well, I should have milled him for one with that with that uh, petitioner there. So I've got five petitioners. I'm gonna block just two of them. But then they die and die, and then I don't have the fourth one. Ooh, this is a little risky. But I think we go with it. So I better draw a petitioner and not an island <laughs> or I'm dead. <laughs> this is so silly. Okay, we got him. That's the game. How silly. This would never work in a normal setting, but it's kind of funny to see it happen. Boy. Petitioners would be a good addition to any mill deck, though. I, I think there's some value in a real, an actual, like, standard-themed mill deck. I think you could do well with them. And the new counterspell, too. Um, I forget what it's called. It's counterspell, and they mill three. There we go. Two lands and some petitioners, and I'm going first. Our opponent's on the mulligan. That's not a great way to start. Hopefully he's playing a bunch of 1-1s one and these petitioners actually prove their value by being 1-3s, but that, that doesn't seem to be what anybody's doing right now. Mm. Yeah, flying sucks. I don't care about the life gain, though, because um, it's not about life, it's about cards in, in the deck, so that's fine with me. Boros colors. Okay, so he's got a healer's hawk down. And then he could play... Sparring Construct. Alright. So he makes his healer's hawk a 2-2. Two -two. It's an interesting choice. I kind of like it. And a Sky Knight Legionnaire. So, yeah, this... This isn't gonna go well. I can't. I can't take this much damage, and there's no point in blocking the sparring construct. It saves me one damage this turn, but then every other turn it's gonna be two damage. So I'm gonna. Maybe I'd want to put something in this deck to prevent damage in the long term, because it's gonna be at least four turns before I can mill him appropriately. Attack. There's no point. I am going to make him mill whatever this card is. It was a direct current. Not terrible. He's got to discard something to do it. He should... No, it's not going to do anything. He should direct current. Any target? Yeah. To me, that would speed this thing up. He's on the clock. I don't think he realizes it quite yet. If I... Nope. Boy, that sucks. Take Vengeance is, is <laughs> the kill card against Petitioners. Oh no. I am glad to see that this is not just a Petitioners uh, event, though. That's kind of nice. I, I think this is a fun way to play, but I don't think it's... Uh, it's going to be very sustainable. I don't think anybody's going to get to five wins with just 40 petitioners. Maybe... Maybe 20 and some other, like, real cards in the deck, maybe? Um, but this game's pretty much over. He's He's got me. I can't stop flying. Sky Knight Legionnaire is good. Or other flyers. I mean, even if you just go... Are there any common flyers? There's a few common white angels that fly. That would be good. Uh, any flyers, really, would do it. 
until you hit Sagittarius Volley. That would work. It's a green card that destroys a creature with flying and then deals one damage to the rest of them. Maniacal Rage is good. Oh yeah. He's, he could attack with his construct to um, not... He might not realize that this, this is the insanity that I'm doing right here. So, it, you know, it's, again, it's just a fun way to play. It's not like a... Not like a top-tier strategy here just to see if it would work. It did work for one game, so one out of three. Now, that's not going to be enough to get you a high degree of wins. I don't think anybody's playing petitioners and getting more than... More than three wins, I would I would bet. Let's see, I'll do one more round of this. We'll just see if we can get more than more than one win. I'd probably be happy. Two, four, yeah. You've you've won. Go ahead, hit it. All attack. It's totally fine. I won't block. I'm not here to block. How funny. And absurd at the same time. <laughs> this guy's like, what is this what is this doing? Yeah, but. Turns out Take Vengeance works pretty good because we have to tap him one way or another. Two uncommons, not not anything good. Okay. No big deal. We did get 100 gold back, so that trial run cost me 150 gold only. I mean, it's nothing. It's seriously. I can do this all day. And at two losses, it's over quick enough. I mean, even if you wanted just to play a hardcore aggro deck in these, it's... That's fun too. A goblin, <laughs> a goblin instigators and fanatical firebrands and Viashino Pirate. Actually, that's that worked pretty good. Ooh, one island. I've learned that one island is not good enough. And the scry is undoubtedly going to be another petitioner, but I will take three islands. That is terrific. Good. Then any one island makes me happy. Having four is good because then you can drop two petitioners on one turn. Good old torch courier. So the figures to be a pretty good matchup against mono red. Little guys. What's the holdup? Oh, he can sacrifice the Torch Courier. For any other creature, not just a creature you control. So it could be a creature your opponent controls too. Yeah, he's got to resolve the... Every... At the break... Every break in play, he's got to resolve Torch Courier. That's fairly annoying. I'm just going to block, even if he's got a shock for this petitioner. Um, well, actually, I don't like that as much, now that I think about it. But, it's alright. Lightning Strike is uncommon, I'm not as worried about it. Sure Strike is common, and that gives him First Strike, and that's silly. But I've got a thousand petitioners, so... In theory, it should be okay, as long as I'm not taking a bunch of damage. almost makes me wonder if big beefy dragons wouldn't work. Are, are there any in the common? I think they're all uncommon or rare. Unless you're talking like Spark Tongue Dragon or something. Spear Spear. Okay. Combined with just like Skewer the Critics maybe? He could sack the Torch Courier. Give a spear spewer haste. Tap him to do the damage. Pay one red to skewer. Okay. Or not. I don't think this would work in standard, actually. It would take too long to get four of them out. Too much mana commitment. I just don't think it would happen. But, it sure is fun and popper. Because the next one... 
it kind of means something, you know, like. Oh, a spike wheel acrobat. Look at that. I'm okay with this. I'm not blocking anyways. I don't want to lose petitioners without having backup in my hand. We're on track to lose seven a turn. This isn't going to last long either. This spike wheel acrobat, that looks pretty good. It's a 5-2 only. I could block it down if I had to. Put a counter on that guy. Oh, I wouldn't have gone with haste there. So I'll have to hold my petitioners back. I, I love Burning Tree Vandalist card draw right here. It is seriously terrific. I mean, I could save, save petitioners as blockers, and then tap them down to yeah. I don't, I don't know. Then I only I'll lose one with the current board state. And then I could tap them all to mill. Can't resolve that two damage there. And if he's got skewer the critics, he could just win the game with one skewer right now. If he skewers me now and the next turn he wins with spear spewers. Or even direct current. So One win again? Is that where we're at? Ended up being pretty ineffective against Mono Red Aggro. I believe he's won. I don't think we can come back from this. Unless, unless he attacks and we can get the block off this turn. And then he can't... He could hit us for four with Direct Current plus Spear Spewers next turn. And that, that might do it. I don't know. We'll see. This is a close one. He's got to attack me with everything, right? He has to. You have to come at me with it all. So that resolves. Let's see what he does. He doesn't discard. We block, and then we double block here. And then we will, before damage is assigned, we will tap down our petitioners. And we will start the mill train here. A whole lot of land just went. You see all that? Wow. So everybody dies. I'm down to... I still have four. So I just have to survive on his next turn, and then I'm okay. Any burn does it. Any three damage... Well, he, well yeah, but he doesn't have lightning strike. And there is no risk factor... It's a Shivan Fire, which is creature only. So yeah, we'll just do... We'll mill one, then. Which is a Torch Courier. Oh boy. What is this nonsense? That's disappointing. That's highly disappointing right there. Now, now he should do two damage about the face and neck here, and not... Well, unless that's a skewer of critics, then, then he's won the game. Which I would have lost anyway if I would have got the fourth petitioner out. So I'm not super upset about that part. Like, this was a close, close game. Though I don't think... I can't win. Yeah, he's he's won the game, unless he makes a misplay 
by by not like using his uh, direct current or if he's got another one of these cards that sure strike I think is what it was but he shouldn't sure strike anyway he should just do the damage to me uh, with direct current but I don't know if he sees that or not the misplay right there. Well, maybe not. He might still be okay. I am at three. I can't possibly draw two petitioners in one turn. So he's got 19. 18. 17. That's the 16th card he's about to draw. We'll hold off some creatures to use as blockers next turn. We'll make him mill three. Oh boy. We lose. <laughs> oh man. Why? It's very close. Was very close. Um, but this is why we don't want to concede too early in these games. For some reason, he might end up sacrificing a spear spewer for some unknown reason. And then, and then buy me that extra turn that I need. If he just spear spewers, he wins the game. He could have direct currented me already and won. Like that, that could have been the case, but he did not. And that's an interesting choice to make. But he didn't. Fourteen. Mm -mm. Nope. And it's land again. Okay, go for it. We won't attack. There's no reason to. Go for it. Spear Spewer. To death. It's also kind of a funny way to lose to the Spear Spewer, right? Where, <laughs> where they come in. That's eh, popper for you. Not a huge deal. Hopefully we get something good out of the rewards eventually. I'm pretty sure, at least in the last event they did like this, there was a... Decent chance your card rewards were upgraded, so I didn't see that yet. Oh, zero wins. To, oh, this is a new game. That was a, that was game one. Okay. Still on the zero with win. So, petitioners isn't working as good as I hoped it would. Maybe it's because I'm just doing 40 petitioners and, uh, and 20 islands. Maybe that's the problem. And I go first again. In theory, going first should give me quite the advantage, but it hasn't proved to be the case. But we shall see. More flyers, which won't be too big of a deal if we can get our... That's our fourth land, so on turn three, on turn four, we've got our fourth petitioner out. And then we start rocking and rolling. Turn three, we petition. Can't block anyway, so I'll go ahead and... Did he not attack? Is that what he said oops for? Maybe. Luminous Bonds, I don't care about. The Life Link here for Healer's Hawk, I also don't care about. I don't think. Yeah, he's going all white flyers. This is a good choice. I appreciate this. And I will save my petitioners to block his at least his 1-1. One, one. I want to take as little damage as possible because, as we've seen earlier, I'm a little delicate. Do not like taking damage. Even this, as of now, it's 4 damage. It could be... Ooh, boy, that's tough. Now it's 7 damage. Now the clock's really ticking. This might work out better. Candlelight Vigil. Oh, silly. One more turn. Four, five, six, seven. Unless he's got another Candlelight Vigil.
Wow. If I draw into a petitioner, I think I can win. If I draw another island again, I lose. I think it's that tight. <laughs> Please stop making your flyers so much bigger and get attacking me with them, kind sir. And then regular damage. Yes! <laughs> oh boy, he doesn't want to see this. Target a player first. Then tap the wizards, or the uh, advisors. There we go. Oh, I was lucky. So we snuck in on the aggro. Turns out four lands is the key. So maybe this is the daily reward card, not, uh, not from the event crater maker huh so maybe adding two more lands and 38 petitioners might get me there faster uh, in every game i've gotten to four lands well no because i had four lands last game i ended up two games ago i ended up getting up to like seven and then fizzling out because i didn't have enough petitioners they kept getting killed so boy i'm going first again wow this is crazy i haven't seen this in a long time where i'm just i'm on the play i'm on the play i'm on the play <laughs> nice Oh, you're doing it too, huh? Is this is this how we're doing it? I don't want to. I don't want you to tell me how nice it is to play against another petitioner's deck. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So I need an island, real bad. Hopefully, I can mill an island off of him right now. An opt. I thought about that too. Some other cards other than petitioners, but I don't know how useful that would be. I really don't. Man, I really needed that island. So now he has a chance to catch up, and that doesn't make me very happy at all. But that's a good sign. So if he has an island and drops two petitioners, he's won the game. There it is. And that's all it takes to win. He's flipped the game on us and won. So now the question becomes, as a matter of timing, in response to his mill of me, I mill him. If I do it in response, no, then, well, yeah, I'll do mine in response. And that way, he mills before he draws. I think we're in business. I think we're still in business. And I've got two more cards. Of course, if he starts dropping petitioners, he could get the eighth one out sooner than I get the eighth one out for. He'd be on the sixth. Then I'd be on the sixth. And if he... Hmm. Like... I'm pondering this as if there's any kind of strategy involved in, in tapping petitioners and milling 12. It's... <laughs> It ain't rocket surgery, you know what I'm saying? You just you just go to town. Okay. That was a strange play. And again, I'll do the same thing. I'll mill in response to his mill. Oh, I don't want to auto-pass. Target a player. I want to tap my summoning sickness petitioner 